President Trump delivered a hopeful, confident message to the American people. The optimism expressed tonight is reflective of the feedback that I get from constituents all across the district, and with really good reason. Over the last year, Congress and the White House have worked together to deliver greater economic opportunity for everyone. We're transforming our economy from stagnant to prosperous, and the results speak for themselves. Millions of Americans are already receiving bonuses and wage increases as a result of our effort to deliver middle-class tax relief and to unleash American innovation. I'm glad that the President is taking a leading role in laying out a clear vision to improve our nation's aging infrastructure. There's real bipartisan support for modernizing our infrastructure, and I'm confident that we'll continue building on the progress that has already been made on this issue in Congress. There's a lot of work to be done this year, and I look forward to continuing my work with colleagues on both sides of the aisle and with this administration to improve the lives of the people that I represent. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, President Trump tonight introduced the American people to a number of individuals who are, simply put, heroes. A North Korean defector who today advocates for human rights. A police officer and his wife who adopted the child of a heroin addict. A California firefighter who ran into a burning building to save 62 children and the parents of daughters killed by MS-13, just to name a few. These individuals embody the courage and strength of mankind, and their recognitions were eye-opening and profound moments of the President's address.